Hi everyone and welcome to our Touch Base Thursday for May 11th. May 11th already. Beautiful day here in Michigan. Um, and give this a minute for me to pop up here live with you all and we will get started here in just a couple of minutes. There I go. All right, I see myself now. I do need to turn down my volume. All right. So there, I think I'm good to go. I think. How's that? So anyway, if you are joining me, um, please comment and tell me hello. And uh, we will get started here in just a couple of minutes as I'm getting myself all ready here. So anyway, um, hello to Patty. Patty's the first one chiming in saying hi in Philomena. Hello, everyone. Um, anyway, so welcome um, to our Facebook Live for this evening and excited to be sharing with you some more new products. I've been having so much fun designing with these new products and I cannot wait for you guys to see what I have for you tonight. Hi to Beth and Nancy um, and Shelby as you guys are all commenting in here. So um, first of all, I want to start by saying happy early Mother's Day to all the moms out there that watch my Facebook Lives. I hope that you get spoiled and I hope that you have some time to um, do something for yourself this weekend, um, spend time with your family, spend time with friends, your spouse, something that you do for yourself um, for Mother's Day. It looks like we're going to have beautiful weather for Mother's Day weekend here in Michigan. Beautiful day today here in Michigan as well. So it's been pretty, um, pretty awesome to finally have some nice weather and not rain and sunshine. Hello to Carol. Um, so as you guys are all popping on here, um, telling you all hello. Um, so a couple things uh, in the way of announcements before we get started into all the awesome things you're going to be seeing tonight. So uh, Natalie's officially done with her first year at CMU, and so she's beyond stoked. She is um, signed up for a summer class that she'll take. It starts in a couple weeks. She decided to do a math class over the summer just to kind of um, get it out of the way. Math isn't her greatest um, forte, and so she's decided to take it over this summer and get it out of the way, one of her math classes. Uh, so, And then she's working full-time at our CMU Connect program, which is our um, cellular services program at CMU. She's our customer service rep. So if you ever call in, you might get Natalie. Um, so that is what um, she's doing. Oh, thank you, Carol. So I was actually in the office today. It's another update I have for you about me. So I'll tell you about that in just a little bit. Um, I'm kind of talking about the girls first. So this weekend is dance recital uh, for both girls. Natalie did take a couple classes at the studio. So uh, this will be her last year of studio dance. Um, and then Claire is in like five or six dances. So we have dance recital this weekend. So I'm stoked for that. Uh, there's two different performances, one on Saturday, one on Sunday. So looking forward to that. And then it was kind of a bittersweet yesterday when I went to pick up Claire from dance. I'm like, this is the last time I have to pick her up. It was the last actual class at the studio until next um, next year. So it was kind of a little bit of a bittersweet um, moment because I'm ready for a break. But it's like, this is going to be different. I'm not going to know what to do with my evenings not having to pick up Claire. So um, anyway, but today I was in the office. You guys can probably tell the way I'm dressed if I'm in the office or if I'm working from a remote day. But I, I think I mentioned to you that my job changed um, to some small degree. And I now have a new work location. I still work at CMU. Um, I'm still going to be in the office that I've been in for 23 years, but one day a week. And then the other day a week, I'm in a different building. It's called our global campus. It's an off-campus building. So today was my first day there, getting all my stuff set up, computers set up, all that sort of thing. Uh, the neat thing with that building, though, is this is going to be a change. Um, I can wear a little bit more casual clothing there. You can wear jeans. You can wear... Um, I, but I don't have, like, either I have t-shirts or shirts like this. I don't have anything in between. So um, I look all dressed up on the top, and then I have blue jeans on with a pair of my Vans. Any of you that know me, you know I wear Vans. I live in Vans. But anyway, so um, I'm like, I don't have anything that's just kind of um, me medium casual. It's all kind of either dressy or just my t-shirts that I wear for every day. So anyway, so that's going to be a little bit different. Um, it was really nice. Nice people over there. Nice different location. But I'm going to take a little bit of getting used to only being in my um, old building for one day a week. And that's the plan at least through June. And then we'll kind of figure out how it's working. But a lot of the people that I work with are housed in this other location. And it just makes sense for me to um, be there to work with them more closely and things like that. So Anyway, a little update on me. 
Uh, also, um, I will the next week I will be live with you, but the following week I will not. I will be on the Stampin' Up! Incentive trip. And um, I'm not sure if I shared with you that my whole family is going. And that wasn't originally the plan. It was just going to be my husband and I because it's a trip for two when you earn it. But we, um, I found out that I had a big um, flight credit and lots of other credits um, that I got from when we canceled our whole family going a couple years ago. And I thought I was out all that money. Long story short, had the credits and I was able to um, to make it so that both my girls could go with us. So it's going to be a family affair, a family trip. That kind of came up last minute and we just got Natalie's passport back about two weeks ago because we didn't renew hers because she wasn't, you know, we had both of my girls came up for renewal at the same time. But we did Claire's because she's going to Europe and that's another thing I want to talk to you about because that's coming up. So we ended up having to pay the extra $60 to expedite Natalie's, but it came in plenty of time. And so last minute, we are all going, and I was able to use um, a lot of credit that I had from the trip that I canceled that the company um, gave, or either the company gave me or I got from the um, the airlines. So it just made it a no-brainer for us to do this. So uh, we will be gone for a week, um, the 20th through the 28th. I will have a pre-recorded video that um, it will be a great trip. I cannot wait, you guys. It will be. We're excited. Uh, I am pulling Claire out of school for a week, but she will be fine. Um, she's a little nervous because she's my, I don't like to miss school, but she's excited to go on this trip. And uh, so we um, get back and then she's in school for the final two weeks and then she leaves for Europe or well she leaves to go to the Blue Lake camp for a week and then we go to see her off on the 14th of June. So that'll be another night that I won't be able to be live with you but I'll try to go live Wednesday because the 14th of June is a Thursday and looking ahead. Um, but we have to drive to Blue Lake, we have dinner with her, and then we leave and say goodbye, and she flies out the next morning. So I don't think I'll be in a, uh, able to do a live with you guys. Unless you want to see me crying as I tell her goodbye, I'm sure I'll be crying. But anyway, so a good busy time for her, but we are all excited for, for the opportunities and um, things like that. So I will have a pre-recorded video for you um, that you will be able to to see. Um, and for Natalie, she's already done with classes. She's taken a week off from work, so it won't be too um, too bad for her. So, so yeah, I don't know if I ever mentioned that, but that came up literally um, like, I think it was the end of March, beginning of April, and we were like, duh! So, um, but yeah, we expedited that passport. We were really worried, but got it, and um, she's able to go with us. So um, those are some of the updates for the girls and um, all of us we have going on. And then, um, oh, we want to do our sharing. We can probably do our sharing. That's next on my little notes here. All right, so up for grabs last week. I had a couple bolts of ribbon, um, and I have a couple winners. So the winner of the, um, this is the gray granite, I think it is, um, a ribbon, is Peggy Barth. So congratulations to Peggy. Again, if you just share my video, you get entered into the drawing to win. So that one's going to go to Peggy. And then I had a bolt of the pale papaya ribbon. And this is going to be going to Lori Ringel. So congratulations to Lori and to Peggy. Okay. Yes, Peggy Bird. Did I say Penny? I meant Peggy. Oh, I think I said Penny. Anyway, okay, up for grabs this week. We have the round and square brads, and I have a package of the solid faceted gems, okay? So, you guys know the routine. All you have to do is share my video and let people know about um, my live. And, um, yeah, that's all you got to do. You get into the drawing. All right, a few other things. So one thing I've never ever asked you um, as you're as we're talking here, so feel free to comment in and I'll read some of them here in just a little bit. Um, thank you, Courtney. Like I said, I was in the office today, so this is my, um, although I do have a hair appointment early next week to get my hair t um, touched up because when I, I have a funny story real quick. When I was doing it today and putting this up because I hate it in my face, I really realized that my highlights have grown out a lot and I went, need to get that done before I go to Norway. So anyway, she can get me in. Yay! Next, next, early next week. So I was excited about that. Um, 
But one thing I haven't asked you guys um, as we are looking at the new catalog and stuff is I'd love to know what some of your favorite items are that are in the new catalog. Uh, so, you know, one of mine um, is the little monkeys, and that's why I already showcased it on a Facebook Live. I think they're adorable. They're just flipping cute. Um, so I would love to know what maybe some of your favorite items are um, that you like in the catalog. And we'll just kind of see those comments come in and... Um, and uh, yeah, I would love to know what you guys like. I also like the uh, new bubble bath color. Um, oh, Beth, you're going to like my presentation today. It's the Zany Zoo. So I do have to tell you, though, a funny story about my before I go live with you guys for the Zany Zoo. I had all intentions. Oh, Earth and Elements is one of my favorites, too. The, actually, the Earth and Elements I'll be using for my, one of my club card classes next month. So I'll be talking about that. But funny story about the Zany Zoo. I went today to set up for my Facebook Live at about 5 o'clock when I got home from work. And so I didn't do it last night. I didn't come down here at all last night, which is so not like me. And went to set up and realized I don't have the stamp set or the dies or the paper to showcase for you guys. So I'm like, Jen must have it because she was cutting. I have a big team event this Saturday and she was cutting for it. And I'm thinking, I bet you she didn't bring that bag back yet because she's been gone all this week. She's house sitting for her dad. So I texted her and I said, do you by chance have, you know, this stuff? She put, oh my gosh, I do. Sophie, her daughter, had to run to town. So she said, I'll have her run it over to you. So it, the stuff didn't get here um, until probably about 6, 10, 6, 15. And so I just didn't have time to do the 3D project. But it was going to be a cute little box and stuff like that. So anyway, I don't have a 3D project for you. But I do have the dies and the paper and the stamp set that I can show you. Because, um, yeah, I didn't have it until a little while ago. And she's like, I'm so sorry. She knew I was doing the Zany Zoo tonight, but she just forgot in her haste of trying to get out of the house herself. So I told her, hey, I get it. I understand. But it was kind of funny. So anyway, um, I have classes that are open for you to register for. They are my Little Monkeys classes open, the Countryside Corners classes open, and On the Ocean. On the Ocean's a great kit for Father's Day. So if you need some Father's Day cards. And then my Basement Bunch Monthly Club, the new club where it includes the $20 in product and all that. Um, registration closed for this month's kit on May 10th. However, if you still wanted to sign up for it, you could. This month, I used the Cheerful Daisy um, Bundle, and you get, um, you're get you going to get some linen thread in that. You're going to get some embellishments in that. And there's something else. There's three different things that you're getting for product. And then next month, so if you sign up for my club by June 10th, I'm using the Earth and Elegance or Earth and Essence. I forget the exact name of it, but it's that really beautiful vase one. It looks very, um, it's very trendy, very on trend. That is what I'm going to be using to design my cards with for my June one. So hopefully, um, if you're interested, you could take advantage of that. The neat thing is if you sign up, you pay for it automatically through PayPal. It's $38.50 a month. I did not raise the price of that, even though Stampin' Up! raised some of their prices. I left that the same. So you're getting a steal of a deal because a lot of the card stock prices and paper have gone up and you get $20 in product you get a free little 3d project that I make for you and um, eight cards uh, and then you make um, two of each one uh, so um, four designs two of each one and then you have the option of adding on the stamp set and or dies and or punch um, to your bundle each month if you would like to now I know some of you purchase that um, uh, on your own because you might be a, a demonstrator and can use your own discount that's great just subscribe to the monthly kit then and you'll be able to um, to have that the, that bundle to be able to do the class so um, anyway one more announcement if you are local to um, attending any of my classes they are this coming Monday May 15th for here in my basement uh, I know I just announced to you all I was only I was going to the fourth um, Monday for the summer and I'm not going to do it twice a month but I will be gone the fourth Monday so this month it is the third Monday May 15th um, and I'll be getting a, a notification out on Facebook for that as well all right so with that hello to Sandy and oh Shireen likes the ladybugs uh, monkeys K Zany Zoo I love it okay um, and hi to Pat Schneeberger as well. Hi, Pat. Nice to have you here. All right. So with that, that is all I have in the way of announcements. Hoping you guys are enjoying um, the new catalog. And with that, I'm going to transition my camera down. I'm going to show you guys what I've got created for you and show you a little bit about the Zany Zoo bundle. So one second, and I will be back with you. Okay. So I'm going to move this down here. And we're going to get my, move everything out of the way. There's your little sneak peek. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. 
What you guys think? Did you like that? Facebook over. I'm joking. I'm so joking. All right, I do need to get this straight. I have to say, I really do like that I um, have the, the designer series paper now running. Um, let me move my, my thing over here for comments. Works so much better. I do like now that I have um, my, um, my grid paper going the other way. I don't have to worry so much about it being um, straight. <laughs> New paper. Okay, so my first card that I'm going to be sharing with all of you is this card. Well, before I get into the cards, let me show you the products. Okay, so the Zany Zoo bundle is on page 46 and 47 of the catalog. Let me unplug my external speaker. There you go. I don't need that anymore. Okay, so this is the Zany Zoo bundle, and I really like this bundle. You can see there's lots of great ideas, and I was going to actually put together a little box like this and then just simply ran out of time before the stuff came here. Um, but look at the cute little one that you can do with the little, um, I didn't use any, do any with the cute little, um, uh, oh, what's it called? The curtains and stuff. I just didn't do any of that. Um, but what I like about this paper is that it's one side is black and white and the other side is your little elements or your little um, animals. And some of them have a little bit of coloring and some don't have any coloring. And then you have a, um, a double pack of ribbon and I'll show you this ribbon. I actually only used the petal pink ribbon on these cards tonight. And then you have the stamp set and the coordinating dies down there. So this is the stamp set. Now the bundle sells for $54 and the bundle is the Zany Zoo stamp set and followed by the coordinating dies. And I don't know if you guys remember the night that I did my um, my little sneak peek when all this stuff first came in, um, but we were sitting here, um, Kay was here helping me that night, and we were sitting here trying to figure out what all of these dies cut out. Um, so first of all, you have a die that cuts out every single one of the stamped images on the paper, or on the stamp set, okay? So you have dies here that will cut out um, every single stamped image. And then these dies will also cut out some of the designer series paper. The only thing I, I wish that Stampin' Up! would have done a little bit different is that there is only a die to cut out one of each of each of these images from the designer series paper. So like, so for instance, um, on this one, you have the one to cut out the, um, the little uh, alligator on the bike. So see, it kind of coordinates with this one right here. So you just got to kind of pair up which piece of paper has a stamped image, and then that's the one that you have a die that coordinates with. So this one right here, you have um, this one right here. So you can see that right here. So you just got to kind of pair it up, but you only have a die to cut out one of the stamped images from, uh, or one of the um, elements from the designer series paper. But look at all these cute little things. So the neat thing that I did with my team is um, for my, my team card day, and you're gonna see me doing that here tonight, uh, they may not have gotten the animal that I used on the card that's on my sample. They may have gotten a different animal because again, you have to kind of get creative with that, right? Because I don't wanna, um, I don't wanna just use all the skunks from this. I wanna be able to use the pigs and the lion and all that kind of thing. So anyway, but this is the cool paper and it's neat because they're all themed. This one is themed like an outdoor, um, outdoor. This one's themed dance, which I love that one. Dancers. Uh, this one's themed like for musical instruments and all the music notes in the background. Um, this one is a kind of, I call it the hobby one. You can either like to cook, to bake, to paint, to read, yoga. So it's kind of like your hobby one. And then this one's your birthday one because it's all got different kinds of birthday things on it. And then last but not least, you have one that modes of transportation is what I call it. Scooters, bikes, all kinds of different things. And then on the back side of this designer series paper, you have just a lot of your solid black and white. So here is what is neat with this paper. You can coordinate this paper um, to use it stage. He had Janet, that's the word I was looking for. You can, um, <laughs> she's probably laughing at me, but you can use this paper for many other different cards and projects because of it being just black and white. So it kind of makes this pack a little bit more versatile that you can use it for so many different things, okay? Oh, Beth, make sure you show me what card you make for him because that'd be kind of cool. Okay, so that is the stamp set in the coordinating dies. 
Um, now I'm ready to get into my first card that I'm going to create with all of you. So anyway, this is the card that I created. Now the one that we're going to be doing together tonight is going to have a different um, little sentiment. Now this, or I mean a different little element. This is actually just punched from the designer series paper. Can you see that? It's not one that I stamped. And that's what's so neat is some of these are stamped. Some of these are not. So uh, for this one, we're going to make this one, but use a different different little piece from the, the from the paper. So for this one, I did use basic black. Oh, Missy is live from her camp. I hope she's still sane. Um, one of my gals is a teacher and has her sixth grade camp through, um, I think you said through the weekend, or maybe it's just through Friday. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, so, and she is on here with us. Woohoo! All right. Uh, some of the different colors that were in the designer series paper is what I used to pair this together. Um, it is the Petal Pink Pumpkin Pie Lemon Lime Twist Pool Party Crumb Cake in Basic Black. Um, I chose to bring in some yellow because why not? That's the Lemon Lolly. I love the Lemon Lolly. All right, so we're just going to do a little bit of layering. I'm going to put my card base up there for right now. And got to find my adhesive. Okay, so this is Lemon Lolly that is cut five by um, three and three fourths, and it's going on to my five and a quarter by four pool party. And then I have a piece of this designer series paper. Now this is the neat thing that I did with this DSP. So this is the DSP that is cut four and three fourths by three and a half. So lots of layering is what I'm doing here. And you can see I colored some of this designer series paper. Since some of the elements have some coloring, some not coloring, I chose to color a few of the flowers. And I chose to use my petal pink and I paired it with the pool party. So I'm just gonna kind of add a little bit of color to this. Now you don't have to do this or you could do it later. I'm gonna avoid down here because I'm gonna cover that up anyway. So there's no point in adding any of the um, coloring down there. So I'm just gonna kind of add it in through here sporadically. If you really wanted to, you could actually color all of these and get very creative with that. Um, we're just gonna do a few here on my live tonight. And then I use the um, pool party to bring in um, the little leaves. Well, let me use the other side. That side, I probably should throw this marker out. Some of these have seen their better days, okay. So bringing in the pool party, yeah, just that little pop of color does add a little bit, doesn't it? Oh, where's some more? Here we go. So again, you can kind of do a little or a lot if you want to. So now I'm going to start to layer this card together, okay? So we're going to just add this one down. I know it. I feel bad, though, doing that because look at you cover up that other side of that paper, but that's okay. And then I have a piece of um, one and a quarter inch um, designer paper. put it on top of the black. And I just put that right across the bottom down here. And it went across the entire um, four inch. So this, these are cut to um, four inches. And so it's gonna go all the way to the end of my pool party. So I'm just going to hear it there, hear it there. And if it's a little long, you just trim it because sometimes, you know, that happens. Trim it off. All right. And then we're gonna adhere this down to the bottom of my card. So we'll just go down here like this. Now this is a class that I'll be offering. I think it's, it might not be till later this summer because I kind of forgot that I had created this one. And as I was making my, my skeleton um, calendar through the summer, I went, oh my goodness, I designed this class for my team card day, but never um, did it as a class for all of you. So anyway, this is the ribbon combo pack that I showed you earlier that is part of this. Uh, this ribbon combo pack is $10. Um, and you get two different colors. You get some of the petal pink and you get some of this um, uh, lemon lime twist. All of my cards for this evening, I used the petal pink because I used the lemon lime twist for different cards that I needed for my team card day. I had to get creative with new product on all of my different things. So we're just going to add some ribbon right along here. Let me find my scissors. There we go. Okay. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of adhesive on the back here. So we're just gonna, hello Marilyn, it's okay that you're late. I am glad you are here. And we're just gonna wrap it around. And then we're gonna adhere this down to my card base, which is the basic black. Oops, I gotta make sure that's straight. 
There we go. Yeah, I'm a little crooked. There, that's better. Okay. And then for this one, again, I used our circle punches, which is our one and three fourths and our two inch. And this one has a little bit of a different. So I used the same paper. Remember I showed you the one that has all of the dancers, but this one's gonna have this one on it instead, because again, I don't wanna waste them, right? So I'm gonna use them all up. And so this one has a different. Now here's the thing, if I really wanted to, I could bring in my marker and I could color this flower to match the flowers in the background of my designer paper. If I really wanted to, I could even color the cute little skirt pink. So, um, you know, you can kind of mix and match this and do it any way that you'd like. So, um, so forever, however much color you want on them, and I should have opened the other end, but we're gonna make it work. Ta so again, you can do it any way you want when it comes to that. And let me grab my dimensionals. I have my um, iPad in the way of my adhesive um, bundle, or my adhesive um, uh, caddy, so I'm struggling reaching everything a little bit. All right, we're gonna put that there, and then we're going to tie a little piece of this ribbon onto the bottom down here, and add our sentiment, and our first card will be done. What do you guys think? So you can see, again, I use the paper as the sentiment, or as the elements on the card, and you'll see where I do some of them where I actually stamp them in, too. So it's just a matter of uh, personal preference if you want to die cut, fussy cut, or, um, you know, mix and match the two. Here I have my little happy birthday to you. So let me bring in the stamp set and I'll show you the sentiments that I use on all of my cards. I have the something great to celebrate you, you're too wonderful, and happy birthday. So I think those are the three that I kind of stuck to for the most part. And this one I made it into a happy birthday card because, you know, I always have birthday cards that I need. And oops, let me cut this a little bit better. I cut that kind of crooked because I was in a hurry. There we go. And I'm just going to adhere this little happy birthday down to the black piece that I have here. And then if I don't want that much on there, I can cut that down. You guys know that I don't get too fussy when it comes to making sure those are cut the right size at the very beginning because sometimes it's hard to get them in the trimmer and not um, have them um, move on you. So I like to just trim them by hand. I've gotten pretty good at that. All right, the other thing that I chose to use on the cards for an embellishment are the classic matte dots. And now these are a product that carried over from our, um, uh, carried over from our main catalog, um, or last year's catalog into this year's catalog. But I thought that they were nice and neutral and went so well with everything else. Oh, Courtney, that's a loaded question. There are so many demonstrators who I become friends with through doing this. Um, that it's hard, I, I, I couldn't even, I'd hate to start rattling off names and miss anybody, but a couple of mine that I really am looking forward to, I'm part of a training group with other demonstrators where we train our teams, and I'm not sure if you guys know the names of Candy Rattray, Lori Heiling, um, Jen Pitta, but they are um, uh, th three that I do um, training with, with our teams, and then I'm also in a group with Julie Davison, Leanne Graff, and Don Olszewski, so I'm really looking forward to seeing some of that, now again, that is just some of the names of people that I, I, I kind of collaborate with, uh, but there are so many that I cannot wait to see, and of course, one of my favorites is my friend Don from Ludington, even though she only lives two and a half hours from me, well, now they're in Scottsville, but um, I am looking forward to seeing her because I don't get to see her enough and her and I have become very close friends through our stamping up journey as well. So, um, yes, I'm sure I'll be getting lots of pictures and I'm sure I'll share all of them, um, with all of you as well. So, all right. So there you have my first card. And like I said, you can kind of see, um, the difference that you get a totally different look just by changing out that little stamped, um, or that little, and that's just cut from that paper. Okay. It's all cut from that paper. And doesn't that yellow just kind of bring it to life and I don't even have any yellow in this card other than that yellow mat but I just love how it made that look love 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 it okay so there's our first card so this is our second card and this is on um, the card where I use the piece of paper um, that resembles um, them doing something kind of a hobby okay so here I have and I chose this one because this reminds me of my girls um, they both crochet they both knit 
and they haven't been lately because they don't have a lot of spare time. But um, I actually just took a picture of them the other night where they were both crocheting. And so um, it's kind of a cute picture. They were both sitting in their couches on the couch, one on the couch, one on the chair. Um, and they looked like a bunch of little, two cute little old ladies sitting there doing their crocheting. Um, so all of my um, elements for this one or all of my, what I used for my uh, pictures are from that same designer series um, pack of paper. So for this one, again, you can see I used the, um, the black. I think I used the black almost on all of the card bases. I just liked it. It kind of pulled that paper in, and I paired it with some crumb cake. So this card, again, I was just looking for taking advantage of the, the little pops of color that I could, okay? So for this one, I stamped on the very bottom the Something Great to Celebrate You. So my sentiment's already down on there. And I used crumb cake. I wanted a good neutral here. And then on this one, I just kind of got creative with some of my layerings. So I used a four by three piece of the um, black and white side of the paper and paired it together with some pool party. Again, I just used colors of paper um, that were already um, in the uh, paper pack. So I'm just gonna adhere those two together first. And then I did put this, I'm gonna move my card base. I always get that, that always drives me crazy. I did put this down to my card with some dimensionals to give it a little bit of lift. So I'm gonna put a dimensional in the four corners of this and add that down to the top part of my card. And taking off those backings here. And we're just gonna add that up here near the top. And then I wanted a pop of color. So we added a pop of color right here, like that. So all you're gonna see then is the top and bottom of that paper, okay? And that I'm just going to adhere down like that. Kinda had the same amount of paper showing on the top and on the bottom. And then I have this white piece that goes across here like that. So again, it just kind of gives it a little bit of a different look and that I also just put on with some adhesive and I'm just gonna put it right down the middle so it kind of is kind of floppy. I have it kind of floppy. Can you see that? It's not going to be completely all the way. And that we're just gonna kind of eyeball the center of as well. Ta-da! So that's just got a lot of layering. Isn't that kind of neat? Kind of cool, right? All right, so for this one though, you can see I used, I have a different a different um, animal here. So um, for this one, it is the cute little, is it a goat? I think it's a goat baking cookies or a cake or something. Um, and there is no dye for this. So Patty, as I know you're watching, we are going to fussy cut. And I'm sure that she is laughing because um, at every, she's one a part of my team and at every team event, when she has to fussy cut, she doesn't like to do it. She'll do it, but she's like, oh, we have to fussy cut again. So I like to pick on her. All right. So I am fussy cutting this. And again, if you wanted to add more color to this, you could, I'm not going to, but you could, um, you know, again, again, depending on what you want to do and what your look is that you're going for. I have to say, this is a really cute bundle that um, Stampin' Up! came out with. Something different, and you know, a lot of times people say, oh my gosh, there's so much floral. But um, I think they've gotten pretty diversified with their different um, images. You know, there's one in there of people who like to have um, pizza. There's a neat pizza one in there, and um, lots of awesome things. So if there isn't something in there that can appease to everyone, then there's something wrong with you, because there is lots and lots in there to pick from. All right, so this I did put on with um, dimensionals as well, but we're gonna do that ribbon. Now this ribbon I did not go all the way around with. Can you see what I did with that ribbon? Oh, Janie loves fussy cutting. Janie, I'm right there with you. I don't mind it either. It's kind of kind of uh, relaxing to me. I like to do it when I'm just sitting there watching TV, and I don't watch TV very often, but if the girls are like, hey, can we watch a movie? I'm like, okay, what can I work on? I can't just sit, so I'm always doing something. Um, and so that's a good time for me to do that. So for this ribbon, I literally just kind of um, put a little bit of adhesive down. You guys saw what I did there. And I'm going to cut it at an angle. And then this is going to go on with some dimensionals. So those of you that are my team members, yes, this is. Um, these cards are some that we're making at our team card day. Woohoo! 
So Patty will be fussy cutting. Um, <laughs> I just thought about that. Um, so when I talk about my team card day, I do it without ever release of a new catalog. I do a, a card event where I pick four different bundles and I design five different cards. So they make 20 cards in one day using new product, but it's a great way for them to be able to see the product and play with it. And it's a good fellowship time for us to get together and create and stamp. And we usually have a meal with it. We're doing brunch this time since I have dance recital. Normally we do lunch. So it's just one of the perks that I do for my team. Um, and then people who um, don't live local can get their kit to go and it, I ship it to them. So anyway, I call it my label, my labor of love because it is a time commitment. I'm in a quick time crunch to get everything designed and then over to um, Jen to cut and prep and all my other helpers that help assemble kits. And anyway, so, um, but this time it went together so, really well. I was pretty impressed. All right, so there we built that card and now we're ready to put it onto our um, black card base and look at that little puppy pop. It just brings this card right to life. So I'm going to put some adhesive on there and voila, look at that. So again, you have a little bit of a different look on the card and um, different um, element on it as well. Okay, so my next card that I'm going to be creating is this cute little one right here. So this time I used the paper that coordinates with all of the music stuff. I wish there was um, one that had cello or something like that because that would have been so cool, but it's okay. I do have to tell you though that we found out that when Claire goes overseas, she has to make some cute little host gifts uh, to take with her. And so um, to give to the host of the families that she's staying at. So we've decided that we are going to do some little um, notebooks and do up some little cute little notebooks and decorate them up. Um, and it's going to say, oh, this cardstock got kind of funky. That's okay. It'll be the back. And then we're also, she's going to um, do some quick little friendship bracelets to give to some of any of like the friends that she meets over there. But I'm thinking, oh my gosh, right up our alley to make our cute little host gifts. So anyway, again, I use black for the card base, but I'm going to move that out of the way because this one um, used the um, music one, I chose to use a layer five and a quarter by four of petal pink and I used the um, melody um, embossing folder and embossed that with the music notes. To me, that just made sense. I mean, that was kind of a no brainer, right? All right, so here we have the paper. And again, and, um, mine's gonna be a different piece cut from a different area of the paper. So this is a four by three and it's gonna go on to, I uh, kind of got a little bit of an angle piece of the four by three um, paper. So I'm just gonna add some adhesive to that. And this is lemon lime twist. So I pulled out some lemon lime twist on this one. And again, that pop of color, right? You just add a little pop of color to it. And we're gonna add this down to my card. And then I use the petal pink ribbon again. So like I said, I use the petal pink ribbon on all of these cards. And then I think because, we, you know, when we first are able to buy as demonstrators um, to design for our classes, we're limited on the quantities that we can get at first. Uh, and it's so hard to design and cut and prep things. So I think I used this ribbon on my basic are bright and beautiful my balloon cards that you're going to be seeing in a couple weeks so i decided to use one for one set of cards and one for the other again maximizing it so when you buy things like that that have uh dual ribbons or whatever you can kind of think more creatively on how you can use it for more than just the one set of cards or projects that you're working with all right now i'm going to adhere this down to my card base because it is sticky on the other side so this is gonna go on to that basic black piece. And then I added the celebrate, something great to celebrate. And I put it behind a piece of the um, lemon lime um, cardstock. And so this uh, greeting is on a half of an inch piece of paper um, or cardstock. And then this is on a three quarter inch. So we're just going to and I need to pay better attention when I cut that and not be in such a hurry. All right. So I'm just going to put that on there like that. And because it's a little bit bigger, you guys know my routine. We're just going to trim that off. All right. 
And I'm going to add my little tie-on piece to that. So I'm just going to cut a little piece of ribbon. It's going to go underneath here. We're going to tie it around like that. And we're going to trim these off. And so this time I actually stamped the turtle. So the turtle is also one of the elements that you can cut out with a die, but he's also part of the um, Zany Zoo stamp set. So this one I punched or I stamped with the um, um, Memento Black ink, and then I am gonna color his shell. Now the only thing I realized that I forgot to do is I forgot to add some music notes to him. Um, and those um, are right here, and I used the Lemon Lime Twist. It's just this little stamp right here, and I added that to the side. So um, you could always add that um, later. Now these circles are the exact same size, so all I did was offset them a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of offset them just to get a little bit of that pop of color on there. And then that's going to go down there. Isn't that a cute card? I know. I love it. Okay. And we're going to add a couple dimensionals to this. And put that down here on the bottom. So I brought in some Lemon Lime Twist. These are the new blends. And I love it, love it, love it new blends. I'm blurry. I don't know why I'm blurry, you guys. I'm sorry. I don't look blurry on my end. Maybe because I'm moving too fast. Maybe I'm moving too fast. I don't know. All right, so I'm going to add a little bit of color to this with my light, with my light marker. And Ta -da. Just a little splash of color to his shell. Nothing too fancy. And then I'm going to add, so I get that lid back on. I did also color in the microphone with a splash of the pink. Ta da! Oh, I gotta put this on. I didn't add that yet with dimensionals, so let me add that on. Okay. One and two. And then that's gonna go up here. Something great to celebrate. You! How cool! All right, so there is our third card, I do believe. All right, so you guys ready for me to keep going? Yeah, I'm not sure, Janet, why that is either. Because on my end, I'm looking at it, and I look I look fine. So um, I don't know. But I'm going to keep going. <laughs> All right. So my next card um, is this one right here. So this one right here. And it might be, maybe I'm zoomed in a little too much. I don't know. So this card, again, you have the Zany Zoo um, stamp set. And you have the stamped image right here. Again, that's one that you could cut out from the paper. I chose to stamp it and then I colored the balloons. But if you were to find this image on the paper, I colored the balloons the exact same color. Okay, so again, using that basic black for the card base, I'm just gonna leave that off to the side for right now. Um, I used the lemon lime, or not lemon lime, this is the lemon lolly. And I just used some scraps of my designer series paper that I had. So I used a black and white one. I used more of a solid white for the middle. And then this one here. Now we're gonna start by adhering the two outer edge ones first, okay? So I'm going to add those here first. And then we're going to add the one in the middle. This is one, let me see if this one might be a little bit, one's cut a little too long. So let me cut that off. I have one that's a quarter of an inch too big. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to do the other black one on the opposite side. So I'm going to put this one over here. And then this will go into the middle. And then you can kind of line that up really good and have a good um, spacing between all three of them. So I'm going to put that here like that. All right. Then we're going to add our ribbon around the outer bottom part of it. So I'm just going to put our ribbon in here like this. 
and going to add the ribbon along the bottom. Then bringing in my card base. Black. Yay, I'm using black again. I'm going to add some adhesive to that. And sorry that isn't sticking. I'm sorry I'm fuzzy for some of you. I don't know what I can do to fix it though. So I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> sorry, I know I keep seeing those comments coming in. All right, so we're gonna adhere that down to the bottom down there. And then I have my little stamped element here. We're going to do some coloring. So I have Daffodil Delight and I'm going to color in the one balloon. And then I have my Lemon Lime Twist. And this is the light one that I'm gonna color this one in with. And then I'm gonna color Petal Pink and Pool Party. There we go. And last but not least is Pool Party. So here I have my little tinge of color again. And this one I need to probably throw out. All right. And I've already got that cut out with the machine. So that was cut out with the machine ahead of time with the die. And then this is just going to be put on here with some dimensionals. So I'm gonna get some dimensionals, put him on there like that. And it's gonna go on the black, so it'll show up pretty good. And then I have, I also used the lemon lolly on that because I like the lemon lolly and I have happy birthday to you. And I stamped the little, um, confetti in the, um, let me bring the sample back over so you guys can see it. Stamp the little funfetti stuff um, in there as well. So we're going to adhere this down. So this is a three quarter inch strip. This is a one inch strip. And then I'm just gonna cut that off and dimensional this down here like that with some dimensionals. And then the last thing I did, oh, I know what I haven't been doing. On the last couple cards, I haven't been adding in my um, classic matte dots. So let me just show you where I did add those. I added them down here on the bottom of this one. Um, so you, but you can add them wherever you really want to. Um, but uh, I added some to every single one of the cards that I did. And then happy birthday to you. And then I'm gonna make a bow and we'll put a bow on that card. And I added the white down here. You can see the white because they kind of pop really good on that black ties in that white really nice and tie this into a bow and so cute there we go cute little bow on the corner of that and there is card number four Make sure that sticks good. So again, if you really wanted to, you could color you could color the little raccoon more. You could color him in um, with you know you could color him brown or whatever color that you might want to color. Um, but I just chose to keep it with the little pop of color in the balloons. Okay, my last card that we're going to be creating tonight is this cute little um, alligator on the bike one, and that one I also used the stamped image, so it is not. Um, from the, the paper and I colored him with some blends, but you can see I left the bike not colored to kind of again, as I said, go with that theme. So I'm not gonna take the time to color the um, uh, alligator tonight because you can kind of tell that I colored him with the lemon lime twist. Now, if you don't have the lemon lime twist blend yet, cause it just came out and if you don't have them from previous, Granny Apple Green would work with the, this too. So, so many times, um, there are um, different um, 
um, colors that are so close to the other ones. So I always tell everybody, don't get too caught up on not having the right colors because no one's gonna know that you used Granny Apple Green and that Kim used um, Lemon Lime Twist. They're gonna look pretty similar on a marker, okay? Cardstock, people who know their cardstocks, yes, they might, but this, this they're not gonna know. And I, again, you know, paired it with the same ribbon going across the middle. So we're gonna add that ribbon here right across the middle. This ribbon is really, really easy to work with. It reminds me of the Grose Grain ribbon that Stampin' Up! used to have. Remember they used to have that Grose Grain ribbon in every single color imaginable? Uh, that is what this ribbon reminds me of. And now we're going to adhere this down to the, thank you, Nancy. Again, you guys guessed it, I used basic black for the card base. So um, they just made them all pop. And I had a lot of black on hand, so it made it easy for me to, to be able to have card bases for all of these cards. All right, so we're just gonna adhere that down. And then this I did put on with some dimensionals. So I'm gonna put dimensionals in the four corners of this. One, two, three, and four. And then those are going to come off, off camera so I don't have a mess of those dimensional backings all over the place. That's gonna go there. I added my little tie on ribbon through there. So I'm gonna add a little piece of ribbon up through there. And then because I stamped the You're Too Wonderful right on the same um, piece of uh, basic white that has the stamped image, there's no need for any other sentiment on this card. Just color him in and add in some of the, this one I will take the time to add in. So this one I chose to use the black dots because it's going on the white piece. A little bit of dimension there. And we're gonna pretend that that's all colored and voila. So let me bring in all of my cards so you can see all of what we created tonight and um, let's see here. Bring them in here so you can see them. Hopefully it'll come into better focus for you here in a minute, for those of you having issues with that tonight. Um, so those are all of the cards that I've created with this awesome bundle. Like I said, I had every intention on being able to make a um, 3D project, but as I mentioned, I didn't have the bundle here on time to be able to, to do that. Uh, but I love this bundle. It is so cute. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Kay. Thank you, Beth. Glad you guys love it. Oh, Philomena, you remember the Grose Green ribbon? Yes, I know, right? It was a very popular ribbon, and they had it in every single color imaginable. So anyway, this will be a class option that you will all be able to pick from if you're if any of you get my kits on a regular basis. Um, you'll have the option to add on the stamp set and or the dies. But again, if you don't mind fussy cutting, so much of this literally came from the paper. Uh, you could even, um, I had to pick and choose because I only had limited paper. But like even these could have come from the paper as well. I didn't have to do any of those with stamping, but I wanted to kind of show you the versatility of um, the stamping versus the, the designer series paper. All right, thank you all so very much for joining me again. If anybody's interested in receiving three of these cards completed um, in the mail sent to you for you to send on out, um, simply put in a $30 order from now through Sunday night and you will get three of these cards sent to you in the mail. And um, thank you all so very much for joining me tonight. And I will be back with you again next Thursday for some more great products from our wonderful new annual catalog. All right, everyone. Again, happy Mother's Day to all of our moms out there. I hope that you have a great weekend and that you do something fun for yourself. And I will see you guys all back here next Thursday. Bye, everyone.